Hi, I'm Tom D. And in this video tutorial, I want to show you how to convert Docker image into tarball so you can move it around to different servers and you don't need to use a Docker repository to achieve that goal. Because normally, if you want to save the Docker image, you can use your local repository or you can use your external repository that is on another server. But this requires setting up the repository, for example, the gfrog, which I was showing in the one of the tutorial, is able to store Docker images and popular Docker image repository is Docker Hub. But in this video, I want to focus what to do if you don't have access to the internet. When you have a server that is isolated from Docker Hub on any Docker repository and you want to use a certain Docker image. In this case you can use any other server that has access to the Docker images or just have that particular image, convert it into the tarball and use SSH to transfer that file. Here I have a console and I will show you like how to display docker images over here. So basically I'm using the command to show the docker images and I will use a format to display it in a specific way because I don't want to see all the data, I just want to see a name, the tag and size. So format is a stable and I need to specify the columns. Open a brace it. First column will be repository, repository that is here. The separator is a tab, another column dot tag that I'm interested in. Separator is a tabular. Okay, I can keep it this way without space. And here I can place the column size, the last column I'm interested in. I'm closing it and I want to show you last 10 images. Okay, here let's say I'm, I want to export this image that is here, the, the first one that has 600 megabytes. Let's say I want to export this get signed URL banner server. Uh, image to the tarball so I can move it to another server and import it over there. Okay, so command is plain simple. It's like docker save. I need to specify the name of that image, colon and tag. In this case is the latest. Now we need to redirect it to the file. File can name the same way. For example, name underscore latest. That would be a good name and name it tar. It's done. So you can see that file over here. If you check the size, let's compare the size, how it's as a tall, it's the same size. Now what I can do, I can simply image remove. I can remove that image from the Docker and check again if it's there. As you can see, the image is not present anymore on that locker Docker repository. In this way, I simulated the situation in which you are transferring the Torball to another server that doesn't have a, that particular Docker image. Now, if you want to import that particular image into this local Docker images repository, you basically type Docker image load and you load the file, the Torball that you save in the previous steps. Get. This is the command. Click on enter and loaded image. The image is there, right? It's You can confirm that by listing again the list of images. And you can see that the image is back in the repository. In this way, you can move around the images without using the Docker repository on an external server like GFrog or any other Docker repository. Thank you for watching this video. I'm sure you understand everything and from now you can use it in your project. See you. Have a nice coding. Bye.